Hi there. Um, this is not an unboxing video, but um, I recently purchased this uh, Linksys product. It's the Linksys SPA3102. Um, once again, that's SPA3102. Um, it is a, uh, you can consider it a telephone gateway um, for uh, voice over IP. Um, basically, it comes in a box like this. It has a uh, Four indicators on the on the, uh, on the front side. <clears throat> the front side here has a power indicator, an internet indicator, telephone, and line. It does say voice over IP on it or VOIP. Um, this is a gateway and router combo. This is why you have um, uh, on the back side. You'll see there's different ports here. You'll see uh, there is the line port, which is basically the line from your uh, from your wall jack, the telephone, which plugs directly into your telephone, your uh, Ethernet, which connects to the phone itself, or sorry, to to uh, to your uh, switch or your to your, to other uh, uh, routers, and then you have finally the internet cable, which connects from your broadband or your DSL type of connection, and then finally your barrel connector, um, which is the, uh, the connector here that uh, Linksys provides. So this is a uh, Linksys original product, and I use the word original product because there are a lot of fakes out there. Basically, if you find this product for less than $100, almost be guaranteed that it is fake. If you go on eBay, you will find quite a few of these. Um, some ways to tell that it is a fake. The coloring here on the Linksys logo is uh, sometimes darker or lighter. So it has to be the original Linksys color. So you do want to take note of that. Um, in addition, on the back side, the color codes that are used for each one of these indicators are different on the, uh, the fake ones. So for example, the blue on, uh, on the uh, internet port is sometimes a really light blue and uh, the other ports are sometimes just all yellow instead of uh, the yellow green and it looks like uh, yeah, the darker shade of green as well. <clears throat> In addition, on the back side of it, um, the, uh, the Linksys logo or the Linksys uh, portion here in the center is usually not there, it's just usually the black section. So these are some, uh, some things you want to take note of that uh, to identify that it, if it is a fake or not. Now, that being said, from what I've read, the fakes do work, um, though they overheat. So um, I will tell you, this is, as I said, the original, um, original Linksys product, and this does become pretty hot on its own. Now, Linksys has put in some uh, grills or some vents here on uh, on each side of the unit. <clears throat> what uh, the the fake ones actually have the the um, impression that there is a, a vent there. They have this uh, textured feeling to them, but there are actually no holes on either sides of the uh, the unit. So from what I've read, um, I've seen some people take the feet off of the um, the uh, adapter, which underneath there are, there are four screws that hold this together, open it up, and then drill screws, or sorry, drill uh, holes into portions of the casing to allow more ventilation. So that is one way of using uh, the fake Linksys product uh, successfully. But uh, I can tell you personally, I don't have any experience with that. Um, so uh, you know, that being said. Um, you know, I'd rather not take my chances with a fake product. One of the things about this product um, that, you know, by, by default it is used for voice over IP uh, for a telephone, uh, telephone gateway so that you can use a regular standard phone, uh, plug it into the jack and uh, no need to use an, an IP phone. <clears throat> now one thing that uh, is not commonly used but uh, can be set up uh, on this device and on similar gateway devices from Linksys um, is a callback service. So for example, 
um, you could have a, uh, a virtual telephone number from, let's say, a, a voice over IP provider. You could use your, uh, your cell phone um, and uh, call in to your virtual uh, telephone number. When you call in, basically in the software setup of your, of your uh, adapter, you tell it to call back the number. So what happens is if you have unlimited incoming calls on your, uh, on your, on your uh, cell phone plan, you call in the adapter, the adapter then would hang up and call you back and would then create what's called a line out. The line out would then give you a dial tone and you would be able to dial. So basically all of your calls would then be free because it's an incoming call, you get a dial tone and then you can, you can dial out uh, to whatever number you'd like. Being that it is a voice over IP line, you may even be able to take advantage of um, different offers from your voice over IP provider uh, that allow for, let's say, US uh, and Canadian calling or international calling. Whereas in, uh, you know, you, you might have a, a smaller cell plan that only allows for local, local calling. So these are some ideas that you can use with the, uh, the Linksys uh, SPA3102. Um, this is not only a, a voice over IP uh, gateway, but also a router. It does have, as I said, uh, the two ports for the telephone, which is one for line, one for telephone. Two ports for the ethernet, one for the uh, broadband or DSL ethernet, and the other to either connect directly to your computer's network card, or to a switch, or to another router. Um, what I usually recommend to my customers is if you are going to put this in place into a network that coming in from the uh, internet connection you connect this uh, directly uh, to your uh, to your modem or to your um, uh, to, to your to your DSL modem or to your cable modem from here using the Ethernet port you then connect it to your internal um, router basically what it does is it segments your your network and allows uh, this device here to have uh, faster access to the uh, to the internet simply because this is uh, a voice over IP um, you do want to have your voice data uh, streamed faster than your normal data you can also set up uh, different um, uh, zones within your network so that uh, this has a higher priority um, so that uh, you're not losing any any data signal um, or any voice signal on that this is the box that it comes in. It's a pretty generic box, um, nothing special about it. Uh, basically, in the box, basically comes uh, a, a placeholder for the actual um, gateway, and then uh, a, a place for the uh, the power adapter and such. Also, in the box, um, it does come a place for the uh, the Ethernet cable. The Ethernet cable that it does come with is a standard. Um, six foot blue cable um, so it does come with an ethernet cable if you are interested in that thank you for watching once again this is the Linksys SPA 3102 please rate and review the video